They came in their thousands to demand the resignation of Thai Prime Minister Samak Sundarave. Not even a torrential downpour could dislodge the opposition People's Alliance for Democracy from their siege of the main government compound. The PAD accuses Samak of acting on behalf of ousted Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat, who has fled to Britain to escape allegations of fraud. We know that they are bad, they are corrupt, and they are not the uh, respect to the, our dynasty. We love the king and the queen, and they try to ruin the dynasty. Fervor for the king is strong. Yellow is the color of the royal family. Warrants on charges including treason have been issued for five PAD leaders, but police say they'll seek a negotiated end to the standoff. The opposition, though, is in no mood to talk. I hope to show the government and the world that this is a, an, an absolute classic case of civil disobedience. Okay, because we're not happy with the way that the government is running, full of corruption, interfering with all kinds of justice organizations. Okay, and then using the state uh, media to attack people who disagree with them. And to make their point, PAD supporters overrun the state-run NBT television station on Tuesday, occupying the building for most of the day. They finally withdrew, but it's a different matter at the government compound. Barricades are up, and the protesters are prepared for a long wait. The anti-government People's Alliance for Democracy told its members to leave the government house and join compatriots at the two airports, which they seized last week. The number of protesters at the airports has swelled to about 6,000. Protest leaders say they are moving out because grenade attacks are making it unsafe to stay in the government house. We had been attacked so many times. We are leaving for our own safety. Even the PAD leader cannot look after everyone. I have to leave for my own safety. The airport closure has severed all commercial flights in and out of the capital. Tourism officials say over 300,000 travelers are stranded in Thailand. And the number is increasing every day. The crisis is draining millions of dollars from the country's economy. And the protesters have vowed to stay until Prime Minister Som Chai Wongswa steps down. and left an untold number of tourists and travelers in limbo there. Oh, it's a house. It's a, I don't know what is it. Uh, this is really a house. Some of them are now flocking to military airports in the country as they try to get out. Well, today we think we have a flight. Um, said it's confirmed. I've been in Bangkok. I was on the, uh, virtually on the aircraft ready to go home on Tuesday night when the Thai authorities stopped stopped us going on board the plane. I feel sorry for them, for this inconvenience. We feel sorry. Thai people feel sorry. Okay. But we have no choice. We have no choice. It's scary. It's amazingly scary. And so many, I've never seen an airport like this before in my life. We've had people in Australia ringing us and updating us from their end because we've heard nothing here. Apparently we're and Yeah, and we just want to go home. I've got, you know, three kids. There's a bomb down home. the road apparently. We don't want to be here. We just want to go, as she said, we just want to go home. Shots and slingshots on the streets of Bangkok. Anti-government demonstrators are taking aim at people supporting those in power. Here, those going against the government are surrounding a motorcycle taxi driver, putting a knife to his throat. The driver got away, but protesters hit several motorbikes with steel rods, then setting them on fire. Hundreds of protesters then swarmed the airport, breaking through police lines, closing it for departing flights, trying to disrupt the prime minister's return from a conference in Peru. The premier may have trouble getting to his office. Protesters demanding his resignation have been surrounding his headquarters since August. The People's Alliance for Democracy said in a statement the protest is an ultimatum. 
for the Prime Minister and his cabinet to resign immediately. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.